What is going on guys? Greggles TV. We have a Galaxy Note 9 here running Samsung One UI, also known as Android Pie. And I'm going to go through the home launcher settings and what you can do. A lot of this stuff will be the same. Maybe there will be some things that are different versus what you can do currently on your Galaxy phone. So way to get to these settings is you want to press and hold on an empty spot on your home screen and go to home screen settings. Once you tap that, you get in here and you can see all the settings that need to be, that can be changed basically in there. So home screen layout, you'll see home and app screens. You can tap on that. You can do home screen only. And basically what it does is it makes all of your apps will be shown on the home screen, switch back to restore your previous layout. It's that easy. So I'll show you what it looks like when you hit apply. And when I go in here, all of my apps are going to be on my home screens. So it's almost like an iPhone if you think of it like that. So if you're used to an iPhone, um, on Android you have the, the, the power to change this to similar things, you know, change it just like that if you wanted to. I'm personally not a fan of that. I'd rather have my apps separate like I already had them before. So I'm gonna go back to home screen layout and I'm gonna have home and apps screening and hit apply and it'll bring me back to how I have my home screen layout. Let's go back into the home screen settings. Next, you have home screen grid and app screen grid. So basically, it'll do five by five, meaning one, two, three, four, five, five rows of apps and you know, five columns. And you can change that to be you know, four by six or four by five, and it'll give you a preview of what it's gonna look like. Again, I keep it five by five. Maybe you want it different. Once you're done, all you do is hit apply and it'll change it for you. Same thing with app screen grid. So these are all your apps, you know, that when you swipe up, you see all your apps, you can make it four by five, four by six, which I currently have it as, five by five or five by six. Then you have the apps button, show a button on the home screen that opens the apps screen. I don't like this, my dad likes this, um, maybe you'll love it too, but basically what it does is if you hit on apps button, if you turn that on and then hit your home button, right here you're gonna have that old screen, old school, you know, button that brings you to your apps. I don't even know if swipe up, swipe up still works. So if you like that, you can do it. My dad still likes it. He has that running down there. I'm not a fan of it, but if you are, you can turn that apps button on. App, uh, app icon badges. So basically when you get a notification, uh, if you have this turned on, it's gonna give you like a one. So if I go into social media, I have four notifications in Facebook that are turned on right now. So if I need to go in there, I can see that I have notifications. Again, I'm, I keep it on. It's kind of a, a, a good thing, I guess, if you, you know, got rid of the notifications. If you have notifications, you want to know if you still have them in there. Uh, lock home screen layout. What that means is if you prevent items on the home screen from being removed or repositioned. So if you turn that on, I can't move this. If I want to move this, you know, like you'd press and hold it and you'd be able to move it. You can't do that, which is a cool thing. So if you, I know this would be good for, I notice like a lot of like my family members that are older, always, any Android phone they have are always moving these apps. They're all over the place. They'll have like, it'll be set up like mine maybe one time. And then the next time I see it, all the apps are all over the place. Some are on the second page, some are on the first page, the last page, some are removed. That's a perfect situation for somebody to have if they are always messing up their apps to lock the home screen layout so let's turn that off next you get add apps to home screen which adds apps to the home screen automatically when they are first downloaded from the play store i love that so it's it, it's it gives you the ability of once you download an app that it automatically adds it to the home screen for you so you don't have to go looking for it next is quick open notification panel where you swipe down to open notification panel from the home screen basically so i can open this from basically anywhere i want you can do it from up here, you can do it from down here. So it's a, just the easy way if you have small hands or you wanna make it a little bit easier to get to your notifications to be able to swipe down from anywhere in order to see them. Next, we have the portrait mode only. So it prevents the home screen from rotating to landscape mode. So if you turn that off, you have your apps like this, but if you move it, automatically turns them like that. I'm not a fan of it, so I keep it turned off. I don't think it's a go. If you like it, keep it, but otherwise, I keep this uh, lock screen, home, home screen, uh, oh, not that, 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 I'm messing up here. 
I turn portrait mode on. You can also hide apps if you click on this. If you want to hide certain apps, you can. Um, you know, it's up to you. Obviously, you just tap on it, and you can hide it if you need to. So it, you know, is gone. And then if you want to ever, ever you know, come back and see it, you just go back in here and you can unhide it. Maybe if you want to hide some stuff from your girlfriend or your boyfriend, maybe that's the best option. And then lastly, you just get about home screen. This is just going to give you, you know, basic information, nothing really to it. But otherwise, that is the home screen layout in Android Pie, also known as Samsung One UI. It's basically the same. I believe the only new one, if I'm not mistaken, is the lock home screen layout. I believe that's new to Android Pie on here on the Samsung One UI. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. Let me know in the comments down below if you learned anything new or if you wanted to add something to what I had previously said right now. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.